Alright, I guess I should uh, teach you how to make things move, right? So let's add a script to this bad boy. Add component. Oh, sorry, typed in, but you can search for something here. So let's type in script, new script. Let's name it spin. Or actually, rotate. Double click it and open it. Reload. All right, <clears throat> anything you put in void update, it's going to call it once per frame as it tells you. So let's declare a variable outside. Let's name it public int. So it's going to hold the int value. Let's name it speed. Go. Got to remember the semicolons. Too much Python. Forget those guys. And <clears throat> now let's do transform with a lowercase t that rotate let's create a new oh, lowercase new vector 3 and here we need three values the x y and z so let's see where do we want to spin it on all right if we spin it on the y let's see what happens when we spin it on the y so x is 0 y is going to be speed oops how you spell speed times time dot delta time comma zero and then again semicolon as long as no error control s to save and i put this cube outside of um, my ar camera because i'm on my desktop this is why i haven't given you guys a preview um i'd have to switch to my laptop but let's go ahead and see if i hit play let's see if this cube spins but I may not see a spin because it doesn't have a picture over it. So let's find a picture. Go to pixabay.com. Fair place for free pictures. Some of you may know that already. And let's go for our, let's see. Alright. So, uh, I think I see some I saw one of you guys with one of these, so save images. Let's go to desktop. Let's go to you know, tutorial, Pac-Man, da da da. Show in folder, drag and drop this into our assets folder. Then let's paste it right over and boom, we have a cube with uh, Pac-Man on it. Let's hit play. Oh, nothing happened. And let's hit play. And that is because we need to move this into our field of vision so you see our a camera this bad boy is not inside the vision so let's see all right getting closer move it down a little bit air camera i think we should be good now let's scale it down a little bit one all right let's take this bad boy out of our way for now let's see all right this is what the camera sees uh, let's move this cube a little bit this way. Okay. Uh, let's make it 1.5. No, wrong one. And to click the cube. 1.25. No, 1.5. 1.5. 1 1.5. Let's see how the AR camera sees it. Nice. That looks perfect. Alright, so let's give it a whirl. Oh, wait. We forgot to do something very important. Let's click our cube. <clears throat> now I created that new uh, variable speed. Did I save it? Let's see. Save. And let's see if I see the speed variable. Oh, there it is right here. Let's make the speed 25 and see if that's too fast or too slow. Play and see if this guy spins. Hey, hey we got it spinning. All right. Let's see if we can make it spin really fast. 300. Let's see if it's too fast. Woo! There we go. So now we made an object spin. So <clears throat> if you want your sphere here to spin, uh, all you have to do is add this kind of script. You're going to want to set a public int speed, uh, transform that rotate, new vector 3, 0 on the x, here's my speed times delta time, and 0 on the y. Uh, let's see, what else can we make it do? wonder if I can do, 
Let's see if I can do a negative. No, I'll try to rotate it the other way. Let's see, vector three, float, float, plus two of those, can vector. Uh, I don't think I can make it rotate the other way. I'm not really quite sure, but hey, it spins, right? So go ahead and try that out and let me know uh, if you need any help.